Hey guys, welcome back to another Fallout 76 build with me, Vapid Valentine. I don't know why I chose to say it like that, but that's fine. So today I'm going to be showing you my new Modern Meyer home in the Meyer because I just said that, and it's very jungly, gardeny, and um, I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned after the showcase for some building tips and techniques. All right, so before we get too far into some of the build footage here, I just wanted to really say thank you so much for almost 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Uh, we're so close to hitting 1,000 and it's going to happen soon, so I just wanted to say thank you and I appreciate you and all of your support, so thank you so much. Um, but let's talk about uh, the little garden here. Let's talk about some of the merges and stuff that I did. Um, I have like a selection of items that I'm going to show, but again, uh, the same as with all of my other uh, recent videos, I'm not gonna show you every single part of the house and um, that's okay. I think that's okay. I'm just gonna show you some things that I think are helpful or interesting. So let's get into it. This is the little front garden that I had here and I really 
I wanted to use as many plants as possible and so I liked the idea of using these um, like fake palm plant lamp things like it's a lamp it's a light but uh, I thought that by merging it into different items it really made it look like it could be a real plant I mean it still looks kind of plasticky but a lot of times tropical plants look pretty plasticky anyway. So for this merge right here, there's kind of a few things going on. You can see that the light itself does not want to place on top of that pot. And so I'm kind of using the foundation right next to it to like trick the light to being placed on top of the pot, if that makes any sense. Um, and I'll show another example of that in a second. But what I am trying to show you right here is the way that I'm using free cam mode to kind of get inside this merge that I've done because once you merge these together, you can't like grab the pot anymore. And so you have to use free cam mode to kind of get inside it. And you like look at the menu on the side to make sure you're grabbing the right thing. And then you kind of push it away from yourself so that you can move it around and then you can place it anywhere you want. And um, this is another example of the foundation being used to kind of trick the game into placing stuff on top of something that it normally wouldn't want to place on top of. So like the candle wouldn't place on top of the statue, but I tricked it by using the foundation like right next to it. As we kind of walk into the house here, I really wanted to create some kind of a plant wall, like a decorative plant wall. And I had a bunch of different ideas, but I obviously settled on this one, which is um, kind of like a hanging plant shelf thing, right? So um, basically what I did here, as you can see, I already merged the plants down, but then I decided that I wanted to redo it and add the conduits on the sides and also merge those in with the plants at the same time so it's not sticking out as much and I really like the way that that turned out. So you can see I just kind of sink it down a little bit and then once I had it um, at the level that I wanted to, I put it right on the edge of this potted plant. Potted plant. And then uh, I used the camp module to raise it up so that it looks like it's floating. And I use this technique all the time in pretty much every single one of my builds and I often use it with those um, benches and I kind of make them into wall shelves but this time I wanted it to be hanging so I just um, did the conduits and this was the first uh, option and I didn't like that because it kind of hung out from the wall too much and so I just redid it so that it was um, up on the ceiling so it could be like right against the wall so you're gonna kind of see in a second how I use the same concept for the light that is above the kitchen island and i did a very similar light in my last build if you watched that video um the there's a few differences for one i put two fluorescent lights on the bottom instead of one so it's kind of wider and a little bit more substantial and then i added a nixie light on each side so if you just kind of look around, it'll eventually place where you want it to be, even though it's not really attached to anything, um, it still works. It just works. So for the kitchen, I really wanted everything to be black and like sleek, modern, clean. And there really aren't a lot of black furniture options in the game, so I used a lot of the same set of tables um, that is like in the the base game. What is it called? Like in plan in in game plans. Um, so it's like not Adam Shop is what I'm saying. And then these consoles that I'm using in the kitchen, these are Adam Shop or. I can't remember if they're Atom Shop or maybe they were on a scoreboard, um, but I used these for the kitchen because it was easy and that stove is something that I showed in more detail in my um, modern industrial house. Uh, so I didn't really show how I put that together in here because it's just kind of a repeat of that one, but I will link that video if you're interested in checking that out. And then for these upper cabinets, I placed them on a shelf to kind of line it up uh, where I wanted it to be. And then because these consoles 
kind of float. You can just place them where you want and then remove what's underneath them and they just float there. So that's what I did with the shelf. Um, it took me 50 years to line it up correctly. And then once it was lined up, I just added three and removed the shelf. And then that was, that was the kitchen. So I do like how that turned out. And normally if it was maybe like a bigger countertop area, I would have made a countertop to kind of um, cover up the back part. There's like a little gap there. And there's also like cracks in, in between the consoles. But I knew that I was just gonna cover that up with the stove and with some decor items. So I wasn't really bothered about that. So moving on to the custom fireplace. Uh, so this is something that I got the inspiration for on Instagram. I don't even know what I just said, but I, I based this fireplace off of something I saw on Instagram. I think that was better. And it was like this modern kind of wood burning deal. And I really liked it and I thought I I think that I can recreate that in the game and so I did my best and I really love how it turned out I think that if I were to do it again in a different build I could do it better um, but I was kind of limited because of the location here I couldn't do a foundation merge the way that I would normally want to so that's why I kind of added that desk on the underside, but normally I would have liked to just use two black tables merged together or on top of each other, whatever. But here I am using the same foundation technique that I used before to be able to place a table on top of that wood pile so that I could then merge it down so it's kind of snug inside there. and. To be honest, I'm not really sure why I didn't just place a wood pile on top of the table and then merge it down underneath, but I feel like there was probably some reason why I did it that way. Um, you know, it's completely unlike me to make things more difficult for myself than is necessary. So yeah, there was probably some reason I did it like that. But um, in order to be able to get it to place on top of that bottom section, I had to put it on a rug because it wouldn't place. And so you just use a magic trick of putting it on a rug and it's fine and everything's great. So um, after I set it up like this, and collected my wood I just merged it down a little bit more so that black part was not showing and also it kind of covers up the little decorative edges of the table and I and and then the chimney is the last the last little touch um, and I really like how that turned out it looks very much the same as the picture that I used for inspiration which is fun and um, yeah so this next part is going to be showing these little side pieces and I added these to kind of just expand the living space on the main floor here a little bit. So all you have to do to get these is place down a foundation and I did the same thing on both sides. So even down here I was able to put a foundation and then you add walls going all the way up and you'll have to readjust it a few times until it, the roof is exactly in the right place. But once you have that lined up properly, then you can just remove the walls and foundation in the way that I showed at the beginning of that little clip there. So this next part is showing again how I wired these cycling lights to use inside the house instead of uh, using the light from that lamp that's hanging there. And I did show this technique also in my last video, so if you're looking for kind of a similar uh, but different application of this same technique, then you can look at that video as well. But um, I decided to just include this in here as well because why not? I don't know. Um, I was really happy that I've kind of gotten this cycling light wiring situation down because I think that the cycling lights are so much better than most of the lights in the game. So I like using those better. And as we kind of come up the stairs here, you can see that I have made my own custom stairs for this little 
landing because um, it's actually not even a half wall height. Not that we have stairs that are half wall height, but um, one of the things that I haven't really mentioned yet about this house is the fact that it was very much kind of pieced together. So I, there's definitely some pieces that are snapped, like walls that are snapped to foundations, but honestly, a lot of the walls that I put in are free placed and that kind of resulted in a very interesting uh, design and like layout for everything. So like I just said, this space here in between the, these two upper floors is not even a half wall height. It's like less than that. And a lot of the other ceiling heights and wall heights are very much custom as well. And that was something that was very tricky to work around. Um, it was challenging, but also I feel like it resulted in a really cool look in the end um, because it's not just the usual uh, spacing that you would see when you walk into a camp. So I don't even know if it's something that is like immediately noticeable, but for me it definitely was cool. And this last part of the video is going to kind of be going over a few different blueprints that I used uh, while I was making this build. So um, this one that I'm showing right here is actually a combination. So it's showing how I did the free place vines, but also you can use that one to place walls anywhere as well, which is really helpful. And um, the way that I'm showing it right here is how I got a vine like halfway up the wall. I did this a bunch of times in this build um, just to kind of break up the squareness of the vines, which I find a little annoying to work with. But the rest of these blueprints, I'm just gonna briefly show like the stairs and the half wall. And if this is something that you're interested in, I would highly suggest checking out uh, Mr. Church's blueprint videos I will be linking them in the description. Um, there's so many that he has so cleverly put together. I don't know how his brain works the way that it does, but um, there's some really cool information in there, uh, things that you can use for building very interesting things in the game. And without a lot of these techniques, I would not have been able to build what I built um, with this house. So, um, for the final shot here, you can see what the dam looks like without anything built on it. And then this is um, a couple little shots of the after. And I know that you heard me like five minutes ago say that we we were almost at a thousand subs, but um, since the time I recorded that part of the audio to the time I'm recording this audio, we have surpassed 1,000 subs. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I have to be honest, I've been struggling to find any motivation or inspiration to build in 76 at the moment, but I have been building a lot in ESO or attempting to build in ESO as well as streaming ESO over on Twitch. But I feel like it's pretty safe to say that the next video that you'll see from me is probably going to be something different, probably a little bit of a departure from 76, if not a combination of 76 with other building games or other games that I build in, I should say. But I haven't decided yet um, I haven't started working on my next video, I just have a few different ideas of things that I might like to do, and I just thought I would mention that. So that's gonna be it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed this build, and if you are interested in following me over on Twitch, I'm sure I will see you in the chat, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. The fast traveling thing. I'm still waiting to see what it all looks like in the daytime. Yeah, that's I'm true. Sure. Oh, I went through a hole! <laughs> oh, I see that. <laughs>